Hey guys, welcome back to some more Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We are outside the museum again, of course. Uh, last video, we came back from Syria. Oh my god, it all went down in Syria. Uh, we came face to face with Khan because he knew who we were. And um, we got the lens, which we have right here, from Klausner. Who, fortunately, Klaus Klausner didn't make it. He died, but he did have the lens on him. Uh, we learned a few things in Syria. And of course, we got found by Khan, who was going to kill us, but from our handy dandy shock and shake buzzer, we managed to escape. So it saved our goddamn life. It's supposed to be a joke, a joke, uh, you know, item, but it saved our asses. So we are back in Paris, of course. Uh, a lot of you guys know where we are. We're at the museum. And I believe now we've got to talk to Andre. Uh, I think, anyway, because he, that talking to him should um trigger our next event which is interesting because we've been here in like we've been here for the last couple of videos haven't we we've had to come back to the museum we'll see i'm pretty sure this is how it how it works anyway oh dear look there's no tripod the case was empty of course the glass case was intact but the tripod had been replaced by a sign reading Exhibit temporarily removed. Temporarily removed. Pardon me. Oui, monsieur? Oh, it's you. Well, what do you want now? You're not going to try to hide in that closet again, are you? Closet? It's a sarcophagus. We've already been through this. I hear your tripod was stolen. Nothing travels faster than bad news. It is true. It happened last night. I always said that alarm was no good. I thought it was supposed to be the best alarm system going. Does this lens mean anything to you? Not a thing, monsieur. Eh, fair enough. Okay, yes, there's not much to say to him. I'm pretty sure Andre's got some stuff to talk about again. Thanks for your help. So let's go over to chat to the young man. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. What's with the long face? Haven't you heard? The tripod was stolen. No kidding. I just don't get it. So many other treasures. And the thieves choose the tripod. A modern day alchemist, perhaps? Who knows? There's no shortage of crazies in Paris. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. I bet you did. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fun Georgie boy. <laughs> I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Mais oui, of course. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the Templars? It's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes, uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. In occidenta cita est in ora mundi. The island of Britta. Ooh. Lies at the edge of the world to the west. Strange. That map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. Huh. Let's talk to him about... This manuscript, then? What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern-day comic book. Okay. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we oui, pilgrims in our thousands on our way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Walls of Jericho? Is Chris Jericho? What's going on? Uh, okay. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. Ooh. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. 
No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Interesting. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. Nice. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Oh, man. The de the Vade... Oh, my God. I'm not going to try. Do you think the manuscript could be the map to the Templar treasure? Frankly, no. That's too far-fetched. The manuscript is interesting enough and a rare find, but that's all. Wouldn't it be terrific if it was a map, though? The treasure of the Knights Templar. A romantic notion, Georgie, but extremely improbable. Still would be cool, though. Does this lens mean anything to you? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to say something about the lens, but obviously not. Okay. So the the day the uh, right. I'll, I'll pronounce it when I see the word. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. But I'm pretty sure this is where we've got to go next. So I think we're going to be going to a different country already, guys. Um. So let's head on out of the museum. Uh, the aeroport. Let's try. Yes, the Villa di Vasconcellos. That is it. I was I was gonna say the the Dasconcellos. I thought no, that's not it. The Villa di Vasconcellos. So let's head on over there right now. All right, and here we are. And can I just say, guys, right now, this is one of my... Not only one of my favourite locations in the game, but it's also one of my favourite story parts of the game. We will be coming back here again. We come here in this part, and then we'll be coming back a bit later. But, oh my God. Just the whole of this story section just gives me chills, and is just so good. Um, that's all I'll, I'll say. That's all I'll say for now. But um, I honestly hope you guys enjoy this section because, my God, is it good! And this is where my favourite female character comes in. She's great. Um, but yeah, let's get acquainted with the people of the De Vasconcellos. Hi, is this the De Vasconcellos house? Oh, and. I could tell the old coot was going to be trouble. <laughs> My name's George Stobart. Uh, I was wondering whether... The house is not open to the public. This is the De Vasconcellos house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the household. There is no household. Only the countess and myself. Okay. What do you know about the Templars? Who wants to know? Are you angling for a bribe or something? <laughs> You have nothing that I want, senor, except the pleasure of your absence. The guy was obviously protecting the countess against the whole world, but why? Hmm, interesting, though. Tell me about the countess de Vasconcellos. She doesn't receive guests. That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. She hasn't won the lottery, has she? Now, I'm pretty sure if you say yes... He catches you out and is like, well, she doesn't even play the lottery. So I'm going to say no. No, she hasn't won the lottery. A more cunning man might have claimed that she had. Oh, yeah? They might have, might they? And that more cunning man would have been kicked off the premises. Exactly. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. See? I told you. All right, let's ask him about some of this stuff. I don't suppose this red nose means anything to you, does it? Ah! El Flojo. Who? El who? El Flojo. He is a clown on state television. Oh, is he any good? He is as funny as scabies. Without the laugh. <laughs> okay. Do you recognize this man? No. 
It wouldn't surprise me if you did. This lab pass mean anything to you? Nothing. Okay. Do you know what this is? See, I have a similar tool for opening culverts on the estate. Have you got any use for a fistful of plaster? No. What do you make of this? So that's it. You're a salesman. If I was hawking medical supplies, I can think of better places to hawk them. <laughs> Would you like to shake hands? I do not think so, senor. Yeah, I mean, he's not too keen on us as it is, so why would he? Look at this tissue. It's a tissue with some greasy muck on it. Yes, that's right. Have you ever seen a lens like this before? No, senor. Never. Okay. Well, thanks, bud. Okay. Well, I'll see you around. Adios. What's this? The main part of the house was old, but nowhere near as old as the gatehouse section. Okay. So we can try and go into the house, but uh, I don't think that's going to work. Hey, you. Yeah, what is it? You would not like it if people just wandered into your home, would you? Well... No, I guess not. Then show a little consideration. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay, so... We've got a mess with this guy's hose. <laughs> no, not his women. Um, His garden hose. Now, I think... It's to do with the bled... The, the bled? The, oh my god. <sighs> the blood pressure gauge. If I remember rightly, I think so. Yeah. There we go, and that broken sword thing coming in. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to an end. Did you have anything to do with it? <laughs> hey, you. Just, uh. Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. Very easily. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. Got it. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. Got it. Totally not going in the house. You heard him, guys. We're not going in that house. Not going in the house. So, what do we do now? Uh, we're going in the house. <laughs> of course we are. We need to go and see the Countess. Okay, so we need to alert the dogs first. We need to hide behind here. I hid behind the armor and waited for developments. Hey, you. I know you are there, American. No, you don't. All right, you dogs. I'm coming. Nailed it. All right. Now we can go up the stairs and go and see the Countess. Here she is. Madre Dios, who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, Senor Stobart. 
There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago, there was. What do you mean? This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they have planted some clues here. <laughs> Why should I believe a, a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... Uh, you'll be spending the night at the police station. Very well. Please, sit down. Thank you. Like I said, guys, this story part is just so good. And she is my favourite female character in this. Oh, this oh, it gives me chills, man. We haven't even got to the the good parts yet, but we will. I know your family is involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were involved, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago, and as for De Vasconcelos, the line died with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Damn. Okay, whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So, what do you have around here that's early medieval? Early medieval. Let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old. Damn. It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. George. Sorry. <laughs> its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. Ah. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. Interesting. What children, indeed. May I examine the chess set? Certainly. But do not move any of the pieces. Okay, thanks. Close up, the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. Oh. Uh-oh. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... <laughs> you! Why, I feed you to the dog. Lopez, what have I told you about feeding intruders to the dog? But, my lady... Never without my permission. Senor Stobart, if I find that you're wasting my time, you will be fed to the dog. No. I want to show you something interesting. Follow me. Okay. Now, yeah, so we saw this off in the distance. Lopez, unlock the door, for the door. And we now know this guy is Lopez. So. This is the only remaining structure on the estate contemporary with the temple. Nice. What is it? A summer house? A mausoleum, Senor. Oh, a mausoleum. Oh. Come with me. Okay. Hey, senor. Yeah? I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown this favor, but I do not trust you. You've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No, the dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. Okay. This is old. It was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place in the De Vasconcelos Templar. It's well maintained. These are my ancestors, and they deserve respect. 
I come here at least once a week to say a prayer for them. Mind if I have a look around? Uh, by all means. All right, we will do, do. We will do just that. The mausoleum contained five tombs for five of the Knights Templar, man size in marble. <laughs> Why did he say that out loud? I wasn't about to start heaving at sarcophagus lids with the Countess standing there. I wasn't planning on doing that anyway, George, but okie doke. Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. Interesting. May I ask you something? Uh, you may ask. That's a big candle. Where would you buy a thing like that from? Uh, you could not. It is an antique, unique to my knowledge. Just how old is it? It dates from the Middle Ages, when the Moors controlled Spain. The candle was to be lit as a signal to the estate workers if the Moors attacked. Hmm, interesting. Who exactly are these people? My ancestors. These five men were all members of the Templar. Five ancestors in the Order. You must be very proud. Not five. Six. Yeah, there's one missing. Where's the sixth knight? He was lost to us. You lost an ancestor? It is a family matter. It can have no relevance. Well, it's connected with the curse of the Vasconcellos, isn't it? Yes, it is. I hope you will honor my desire not to talk about it. Okay. Well, I'll leave it for now. Yeah, that seems fair. You certainly know your history. Now, what's your opinion of the Templars, Senor Stobart? The Templars? Well, they seem no worse than a lot of the knightly orders. Uh, you are mistaken. Compared to the simpering politicians of the Hospitallers or the Brutish Teutonics, the Knights Templar were the embodiment of chivalry. The filthy, money-grabbing French king and his pet pope did a great wrong. A bane settled upon my family at the whim of that self-seeking tyrant. It was all a long time ago. Some things don't die. Injustice is one of them. She has a point. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Call and ask her about the lens, apparently. Okay. Okay, thanks. Not at all. Okay, so I believe this comes in later. We can't do anything with this yet, but this we can. In front of the shrine was a lectern with a Bible on it. On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the lectern top. Hey, it's a checkerboard. Well. Close up, I could see that the pattern was made up of glass squares over a checkerboard pattern. Some of the squares had little jagged holes in the middle. Interesting. Close up, I could see that okay, over George. a checker. Some of the squares. Okay. Let's go tell her about that then, because that sounds very familiar. Did you tell me something? Uh, what do you want to know? What's the story with the glass chessboard? A glass chessboard. Oh. The pattern on the lectern, purely decorative, I'm sure. There are pieces of glass missing from it. Oh, it has been like that since I was a girl. Okay. The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully deliberate. No, it is ridiculous. What possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard, and the gaps are for... Senor Stobart. You cannot mean... This place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? Oh, it's getting good. I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. This is extraordinary. And this, this is a good story piece, but this isn't even the best one, is when we come back the second Am time. I to understand that the Templars left a puzzle here? And in all of this time, we failed to realize that there was a puzzle. It was wonderful to watch the Countess change before my eyes. Right. Well, no time for wallowing in self-pity, eh, Senor Stobart? 
this mystery has had a good long run, but it ends here and now. Yeah, compared to those years of fatalism, we're falling away from her. Compared to what she was like when we got here. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hold down and listen! Go to the house and get my chest set! Yes! The old chest set! Oh, damn the game! <laughs> now hurry! I get goosebumps every time. Just how excited she is about it. This is her oh, ancestors. This is exciting, is it not? Don't get too excited. I, this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. It's good to see you happy. Happy? <laughs> you know, I think I am. It is good to see you, Abby. All right. While we're waiting, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything? It all began at the time of the dissolution of the Templars. Don Carlos had already left their ranks to become a scholar. Don Carlos? Is he the guy who went missing? Si. Uh, but he had reckoned without the local bishop. The bishop envied us our lands and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When Don Carlos returned, it was to find his loyal manservant slain and his children gone. They took the kids? But why? Well, we will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witnesses had seen his men kill the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Damn. Oh, there's Lopez. Ah, Lopez, you have the pieces. See, si, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, Senor Sobat, would you be so kind? My lady. Calm yourself, Lopez. I believe Senor Sobat's motives are pure. Very well, my lady. You still don't trust us just yet. My lady seems to trust you. But you don't. No, Senor. All in good time. It fits, Senor Sobat. It fits. Working quickly, I found which pieces went into which holes. Oh god, this mini game. I do not understand how this is supposed to work. So this could take a while, guys. Me just randomly putting pieces in places. Oh no, that's not where I wanted that to go. Yeah, I honestly don't get. Mm, no way. Mm. I'm trying to pick this one up. Seriously, don't uh, get how this is supposed to work. Mm. Whoops. Because mm. I'm pretty sure in my first LP that I ever did this, it took me freaking ages. Whoops. Uh, no. Uh, hang on a sec. If it's obvious to other people, like you guys will have to let them know, but I have no idea how this is supposed to go. This could take a freaking long time, and if it does take too long, I'll just cut it out, but. Oh, there we go, we did it. Senor Stobart, look! What is that? It's not. It's not the Holy Grail, is it? 
No, Senor Sobat. It is the communion chalice of the De Vasconcelos, missing for almost 700 years. Wow. Well, go on. I, I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, uh, go ahead. Live a little. I will show you. This is your moment of triumph, Senor Sobat. Sure, I'm sure. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days later. <laughs> yeah, she gets her hand chopped off or something. Yay! Back in Nico's apartment. All right, so that's the the, the Vasconcellos part one. We will be back. We we will we will be back. So the curse of the De Vasconcellos is lifted. Oh no! The Countess was thrilled to find the lost chalice. But there's still the riddle of the missing knight. Well, you can forget about that now and get back to finding the Templar secret. Uh, actually, I promised the Countess I'd find Don Carlos. You what? I can explain everything. You have got the odds for a withered old Spanish aristocrat? <laughs> the Countess entrusted me with the chalice and the quest for her ancestor's tomb. You're as crazy as she is. Haven't you got enough problems? Khan and the Templars? It's all part of the same thing. The chalice is important, I'm sure. The manuscript pointed us to the knight, and I have to find him. What then? I don't know. But when the knight and the chalice are reunited, maybe I will. Yeah. Don't worry, Nico. It'll all work out. This is the chalice I discovered in Spain. I still can't figure out why the Countess gave it to you. After losing it for all those years, she simply gave it away to a total stranger. She's one prawn shot of a paella. The Countess is a fine lady. You shouldn't compare her with seafood. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there's something going on between you and that Countess. Oi, oi. Are you serious? She's old enough to be my grandmother. This is also true. Uh... Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. Yeah, true. Um, okay, so we're going to end. We're going to leave. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Because I know exactly where we've got to go now. Um, we are going back to Moffesson for our second time. This is where this comes into play. And now we will be going into the church. Uh, but we're going to do that in the next video, guys. Because I'm going to end this one here. So we'll head on over to Moffesson. But yeah, oh, I love Spain. I can't wait to go back the second time. It's so good. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, oh, he's, he's, he's back again. We'll talk to him in the next video as well. Uh, but got, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please drop a like on this video. I would really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Uh, and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. See ya.